Hey guys, welcome to Ask AdWords. I'm Alex. And I'm Joe. Got a few more questions to answer this week. Um, as always, just feel free to leave us a question here in the comments section of this video. Um, send in um, you know, a message over social media using the hashtag Ask AdWords. Anything about strategy, questions about features, we'll be happy to answer them in future episodes. Um, but let's get started with today's question. Awesome. First question comes from Pedro and it reads, where is the analyze competition section after the opportunities tab update? Okay, so um, as Pedro pointed out, we've had some updates to the Opportunities tab. Definitely check that out. I, I'm pretty impressed by a couple of things that they've introduced. Um, but the Analyze Competition tab, um, you can find now if you go to your Keywords tab, um, and there's a gray Details button that you can click on. You click Details, and then there's an Auction Insights header, and then you can select all, which would show you the auction insights for all of your keywords. Or if you individually select one of your keywords, you can say, hey, show me only the auction insights for these selected keywords. So what is auction? It's an awesome report. It's a good report. So for people that don't know what it is, it basically allows you to look at your performance in comparison to your competition. So you can see, for example, what percentage of the time you're shown on the same page or you're shown as a result with your competition. What percentage of the time you're above them or they're below you? How often you're sharing um, you know, an impression? How often you're missing out on impressions? Um, all of this information and a lot more that you can see in the Analyze Competition tab, really a great way to get a feel for the entire kind of like market in which you're operating um, and, and a useful uh, feature for sure. Um, so let's get down to the second question. Why don't I have the option to pause some placements in my display campaign? Great. So basically, there are two options for placements. There are going to be automatic placements, which you are automatically placed on based on the settings and targeting settings that you set up. Mm -hmm. There are also managed placements or different websites or web pages that you want to specifically show your ad on. So this question is basically saying, why don't I have the option to pause some placements? My guess is you have a list of automatic placements and you're wondering, how do I make sure I don't show on some of those placements? Very simply, you can add, you can exclude these placements and make sure you don't show them. So exclude Excluding placements is basically the same thing as pausing place, pausing automatic placements. Yeah, excluding, pausing, kind of synonymous. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, so, so yeah, you can remove that and it's a way for you to make sure you're spending your budget on the placements that you like. Wonderful. Third question comes from Scott and it reads, if I just have one Google account, how can I manage multiple AdWords accounts with that login? Hmm. Good question. Mm -hmm. And lucky for you, Scott, we have a feature. Um, or a tool that you can use, which is called a My Client Center, or an MCC account. So an MCC account is kind of an umbrella account that allows you that, to manage multiple accounts at once, or I should say kind of house multiple accounts at once. So you would need to have a unique login email address. Um, just do a Google search for My Client Center AdWords. First result will take you there. Log in, you can create um, an account. Um, and within the account, you can link multiple what are referred to as like child accounts. Um, and then once you have multiple accounts linked, you'll have them in one interface that you can look at all at once. You can run reports across accounts, just looking at one account. And it's just a really great, easy way for you to do what you're trying to do, which is manage multiple accounts. So it's good for agencies or just people that, you know, have, for whatever reason, um, several accounts that they're, they're working on. Yeah, in addition, you know, you don't have to be the only one that's on that MCC. You can invite some of your friends as well to have access to all of these child, child accounts. Yeah, so definitely look into an MCC. If you're looking to manage a bunch of accounts, um, the, I would say it's almost necessary. Yeah, or exactly. Or else it's just, it's gonna, you're going to go crazy with all these different <laughs> accounts. Thanks so much for watching this Ask AdWords episode. If you have future questions, please feel free to use the hashtag Ask AdWords on any social media site. We will find it, maybe put it on the show, uh, but have a good one. Bye.